afternoon. Today, you find me putting the finishing touches to dessert. These are medlars, and I have quite a few left over, so I thought I might make a medlar fool. For this recipe, you will need medlars, sugar, cream, Every meal ends with dessert. It's the end of the meal intended to cleanse the palate rather than fill you up. After all, everyone's already had a course of soup, fish, meat, vegetables and sweet entremets. A good dessert is mostly fresh fruit, nuts, ices, although some people do like biscuits to dunk into wine and perhaps some bonbons and other sweet meats. It's a good way to show off the gardener's skills, a display of fresh fruit at the very peak of its perfection. These are medlars. You might know them as dog's arse fruit. <laughs> I understand they're called that in many different languages, and I suppose you can see why. I think they're related to the apple. They certainly taste like a sweet dried apple, something like a biffin but they have the extra flavour of apricots and dates. Like most fruit on the dessert table, these are served as a pyramid. So I think this is perfect. I've got quite a few left over, and they won't keep. Medlars are inedible until they've been softened on the tree by a frost. It's called bletin. They're not rotten, they're just soft and brown. You can blet them by laying them out on a slate slab in a cold room. I find it easier to extract the pulp by letting them boil for a few minutes. Sylvia can do that. Sylvia's boiled these for about five minutes and now I'm pushing them through a sieve to remove the skin and the seeds. They have a lot of seeds. I have about a pint of pulp so I'm going to need about half a pint of cream, which I'm going to whisk and add sugar as I go. Fools must be one of the easiest English recipes. They're merely cream, fruit pulp, and sugar. You can use any fruits, really. Strawberries, gooseberries, rhubarb, apples, raspberries, they're all good. It's a very old recipe. It goes back to the Tudor times, I think. It's very like whimwams and trifles. Nowadays, we use cream, but when I was first taught, I used custard and I was told it was done like that for about a hundred years. When I lived in Norfolk, I used to make a Norfolk fool, but that was more like bread and butter pudding. And Boodle's fool has cake in it. This is the most usual way to make it nowadays. I'm now going to mix my sweetened cream with my medlar puree. And then I'm going to carefully put it in the display bowl. That needs to be kept in the cool larder or on a hot day in the ice cave, as it must be served cold. This is a sweet entremet, but as I'm serving medlars for dessert, I'm gonna put this on the luncheon menu. There you are, medlars for dessert, 
Medlar Fool. <laughs>